Hey, good evening, everybody. NCTV and Digital Media presents Through the Lens, a script to sing, a script to silver screen production. You try saying it tonight, uh, October 1st, 2018. We are in front of the Del Art Earth. We're going again for sure on this one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, yeah. What is it? NCT, United County TV and Digital Media presents. I know, it's tough. Nevada County TV. Yeah. Nevada County TV and Digital Media Center presents the 2018 Through the Lens, a script to silver screen production event. It's amazing. Del Oro Theater in Grass Valley, California, October 1st, 2018 is the scene. We got loud trucks going by and the filmmakers will be arriving soon in the limousine. Excited to be here with Ken and Barry and Laura and Laura's parents, everyone I've seen coming by. We are getting ready to go. All right, we'll try one more. I know, that was a... Yeah. Laura. Here, she's right here. You have to be my fake interview subject. Just fake, are we practicing? Look, yeah. I even brought my Hollywood cap. Hollywood. I've the red carpet before. So we'll grab the filmmakers from here and I'll say, what was a great experience in making your film? I really love the passion that came out of me when I was connecting with the actors. That was all improv. She is amazing. My daughter's professional improver. Your daughter made the film for the one we're doing. She always does, man. So does your son. Yeah, she's always good, man. Well, that's the uh, and who interview. Are you? That's Ken. He's an awesome videographer. Cheers to you. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers to you. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Practice? This is great. And the kids are coming around in a limo. I can't wait. Yeah, it's exciting. All right, we good? All right, that's how we're doing it. That was a good practice. It's all Hollywood. How's it look? Oh, it looks great, yeah. Cool. Uh, anybody else we need to interview before things start? Um, I could grab something with Yvette if we wanted, but... You want to go a little talk to her, see if you can bring her over or something? Or hey, what's going on, Mike? How you doing, bud? What's going on, buddy? Good to see you, man. Yeah. I'll do one more of these for the final... Uh... Hey, everybody. October 1st, 2018. Welcome to the Del Oro Theater. Nevada County TV and Digital Media Arts presents Through the Lens, a script to silver screen event. And we have the filmmakers arriving soon. Let's look for the limo. All right, good. Here we go. Where do I go, am I in the middle of you guys? And we want the cameraman. Oh, come on, in Ken. It. You want a minute? Yeah, so it shows that we're being interviewed oh, I see. right now. That's see, right. that's right. We're totally talking right now. We have so much to say. So here we are. Oh, it's a blast. The oh, king. yeah. The king. <laughs> the king is on. Hi, yeah. How oh, have you now, everybody? This is when I pulled my shoulder. This is a great event. You need to be here. You need to be here. Thank you. You bet. Thank you so much. Yeah. or later, later tonight. Let me know what you want to do. Like, she, 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 she's, 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 she's
too, like going there to put Spartan. What do I do? What do I do? Are we going that way? All right, all right. I think they're coming out that door, right? I'm gonna, you know what I loved about Doug Llewellyn in people's court? He always handled people very roughly by the arm. I'm gonna do that. Come here. Come here, come with me. Wow! I had no idea who would be coming out first, but look at you, welcome. Come on, grab your cast. Come on over here. Uh, that's him right now. That's him. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> the rest are in another film. Welcome. Congratulations. Tell us the name of your film and who you are. Uh, the Commissar. I'm Sloan Morton. I'm the screenwriter, director, and one of the characters. Boom. And you, sir? I am Adam Morton. I am one of the characters. Right. What was the challenge you had in making this amazing film? Actually, it wasn't too bad. It was a lot of work, mostly on props, but um, the whole thing shook props. out pretty smoothly. Props are always the big deal. Yeah. No props, no animals, no kids. That's my rule for a movie. No, that's it. Anyway, what did you do in the movie? I was g given a script and told to read it in a Russian accent, and uh, that's pretty much what I did. I, uh, Can we hear a little bit? No, you have to wait for the, for the film. Cause Must I wait for the movie. All right, congratulations. Thanks for being here. Enjoy. How was the ride in, all right? Yeah, yeah it's great. Excellent, good. Well, there we go. I have to see which one that was. Oh. The Commissar, that was Sloan of the Commissar. Wish I knew who was coming in advance. How were they getting out of the limo? Did you get a nice shot? Yeah. Nice. Cornish King. Was it Andrew? No. Tim. Tim. Yeah. You're so far away. Okay. Tim. All right. Were you Timothy or Timmy as a young kid? I was Timmy. Yeah. When, do you sh when does that shift? Because we have a Timmy friend and he's 16 now. I'm wondering. Is that? Oh, it it probably goes away after 18. 18. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's like taller than me. And he's got facial hair. It just doesn't yeah. feel right with Timmy anymore. Tim's good. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, who are the famous Tims? But Tim Robbins. Yeah. All the women like to say Timothy because it, it draws out, you know. They yes. Like to say the longer names. Timothy. Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Is this on? I wasn't the same time. That's a nice shot. That's a nice shot right there. How many actors were in your play? Um, seven. But you didn't want to load me with car? Well, well no, they're all movies. They're all on different movies. So. Everyone's in other also, movies. Yeah. Gotcha. So, um, Did you have Weston in your okay. movie? No. Okay. So there were a couple people who couldn't make it. Yeah. Or one person who couldn't make it, and then the rest are in Gabriel's film. Oh, that's so great. So my brother stole them. Very cool. Hey. Are you, is the walkie-talkie working now? Well, they gave me one that works. Nice. The other one was yellow. Yep. It was not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> Rob Tran, the man, the myth! We are uh, at the 2018 Nevada County TV and Digital Media Center is doing the Through the Lens, a script to silver screen production, and it is quite an event. Red carpet, Rob Trent is here, all sorts of local celebrities. And uh, Bailey is in Zed's movie, which yeah. I'm so excited Let's about. Let's hear about it. Oh, my gosh. I haven't seen it. Nothing of it. Nothing. Oh, I think you'll love it. It's a, Bailey has a multi-generational look back at a childhood memory. You know, just and it starts, we got uh, Annie's dad, 88 years old, just, you know, line by line, did his lines. And uh, he tells the story, and then we flash back, and all the kids are players. It's really cool. Oh, my gosh. Hey, tell me if you know whose movie this is, all right? 
Whose is it? I'm related to him. It's my brother. What movie is it? Uh, Smith and McCarthy. Smith and McCarthy. Okay, Smith. And that's Gabriel will be coming out? Smith and McCarthy. I see Patrick. Smith and McCarthy cast. Oh, the Smith and McCarthy cast. Come on in right here. Come on in shoulder to shoulder. Wow. Look how good looking everybody is. Nice to see you. I'm very welcome. Congratulations. Yeah. Are you the filmmaker? No, I'm not. He is. I am. And your name, sir? Gabriel Morton. The name of the film? Smith and McCarthy. Wow. And tell us a little bit about it. Just a snippet. Uh, it's a character piece about two detectives. Fantastic. Intrigued. Do you feel it? If you don't feel it, if you don't feel it, come a little closer as he says it again. No. What was the big challenge you had in making this film? Uh, probably just lighting and continuity. Lighting and continuity, always yeah. big. Never work with lighting, never work with continuity. That's my rule. No, that was, that was his rule for making a film. <laughs> or kids and animals. <laughs> anyway, excited. How many people were in your cast? Um, I think around eight. Anybody you'd like to thank in particular? Uh, mainly parents, my brother who is the co-star, um, just everyone who spent time on it and yeah. Ten? It was ten people. Ten people. So your brother was a co-star in this? Yes. So just playing the odds, you guys have a good chance of taking home the prize. Yes. Someone in the family. Probably. That's, that's oh, yeah, exciting. Definitely. Definitely, you're coming from the back Definitely. Row. All right. And what did you do in the film? I played Martina Derfison, one of the dames. One of the dames or the dame? There are two, right? Yeah. Well, three. But you were? Yeah. You, three. You were the dame. Sure. Boom. All right. Hey, congratulations. Is this your first film? Uh, the first film with me leading. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. Best of luck. Judge Wapner has some documents for you to sign. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That was great. Anyway, that was the second movie. It's coming through. That was uh, Smith and McCarthy. Oh, Patrick was in the film. You were in Smith and McCartney? I was. I played a mob boss. Oh, so a little typecasting. Again, you know. <laughs> Again. I know this guy. Once a mob boss, always a mob boss. I love this guy. Anyway, man, hey, congratulations. All right, man. Thanks, Pat. All right, you guys. We'll wait for the third limo to come up here at the Through the Lens of Script to Silver Screen event. Yeah, there's 10. Yeah. We'll be here until, I think, so, Thursday morning. Right. Yeah. The reel is next. All right. The reel, Janine Watson. Okay. That's like that guy's fifth time coming by. If you are in line, the lines on this side, the limo's coming up, and just the limo people are going Is this the real? Are you at the real? Yes, sir. The real? Yeah, yeah, the nice. real. Yeah. And are you? Uh, no, you're not Janine. What am I talking about? You're Janine. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you. You can be right next to me. And then have the cast line up here. The cast okay. and crew and everyone who's here. Is that, are these guys all in the film, or you want to have them with you? Um, this one is in, but these guys all. Yeah, leave them all. They're good ones. <laughs> All right, the 2018 Through the Lens, we are back. Uh, and this movie, The Real, with Janine Watson. I don't have any cue cards, so I'm actually using the poster for my cue cards tonight. Hello, Janine, how are you? Hi, I'm great, how are you? You excited? Oh yeah, and nervous. Really? Very. Wow, uh, why? Because I've never done this before, and I'm really camera shy. Wow. Are you in the film? No. So it's just this camera, this moment that you're shy about. Yep, and you're the doing great. second intro. You're doing, oh yeah, you're doing great, you're doing great. Tell us just a second about The Real, a little bit about The Real. Well, it was inspired by Delaro Theater and my time here, and then it was also inspired by my crew of teenagers who 
prompted me to write the screenplay and get it going. Had you written a screenplay before? Never. Really? First one. <laughs> you are nervous. I'm no, I'm kidding. kidding. That's good. <laughs> You're doing great. That's really Thank cool. You. So do you have a, a second or two, like a little sentence or two about what the film's about? Could you tease us? I do. It's about two uh, movie theater employees who take an unexpected journey back in time. Whoa. Very meta. So they're in the theater and they go back in time. I like this. I like that. I yeah. like this. Well, who uh, who was a star in the film? Can we? Uh, who would you like to have some say something on camera? These, these what? Two are, are this guy. Yeah, I know. He <laughs> was just here. I know. Yeah, I'll talk to you. What's your name? I'm Jenna. And Jenna, what did you do in the movie? I was the. I played the lead. Yeah, <laughs> Genevieve. So you went back in time. I did. Yeah. Had you been in many films? No, not really. I've done like acting before, but never. On film. <laughs> is it hard to see yourself on, on film? Yeah, it's weird to watch, but <laughs> uh, it's cool. Do you see anything you think, geez, I'm so glad I did that? Eh, yeah. Like a moment when you went, oh, I, I nailed that. <laughs> Sometimes. Nice. Very good. And who else, who'd you go back in time with? Wow. That must have been creepy. No, I'm kidding. That was fantastic, I bet. And, and what was your character's name? Colin. Colin. And what did, what did you like best about being back in time, Colin? There was some fun running. There's running across a field. It was very fun to do. How far did you guys go back in time? To the, uh, what was it, 1700s? 1700s. Wow. Was costuming a challenge for the 1700s? Or? Not for me, because I'm a costume designer. So that's kind of my niche. It was fun. Wow, very cool. Well, I'm so looking forward to seeing the reel. I'm sure it's going to be a highlight of the festival. Uh, I don't know any winners have been chosen yet, so I'll just, I'll just say good luck. Congratulations, Janine. Thanks so much for stopping to talk. Yeah, hop in, you guys. Take the red carpet. I'm sure you're used to it from daily living, but just, yeah, do this one. Yeah, number four is coming. Which one is it? Oh, the river, right. Okay, Julie Lipson. Yeah, I You'll have to talk to yeah someone else into it. We missed the four people over here. Are they just uh, yeah just seconds? hanging out? I okay. think we're just getting what we can. The movie is still playing inside our theater, period. I have not been able to get seats, period. Hey, hang right here for a second, you guys. Wow. Hi. Come on up here. Um, who's Julie? Nice. Come on, stand here. This is great. And you guys gather up tight around her. Come on in. Nice. Holy cow. So the river. The river. Is this your first film? This is my first film that I've directed. Yes. Directing. And do you, have you acted in films before? I've acted, but I mostly write them. And I see just you've got a good looking cast surrounding They're you. beautiful. Is that a big uh, key to having a successful They film? had to be beautiful to get hired. Right. So <laughs> tell us, do you got a sentence or two about the river that can give us a little tease about it? Sure. The river is about different kinds of people coming together in this community and for the benefit of the rest of the community. Wow, very nice. Uh, and is it shot at the Yuba? It partly, partly, yeah, why yeah. not? Why not take the most beautiful part of our county and put it in your film, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Were there any uh, particular challenges that you had to overcome as a uh, filmmaker? I would oh wait, I need to go right here. What was, what was the big challenge that we had to overcome for this? The river. The river. <laughs> 
Was the movie called The River before the challenges were encountered? Yeah, I, an I anticipated that it might be challenging, but I didn't know it'd be that challenging to keep like a $30,000 camera out of the water. And we had the sound guy fall in the water twice with his equipment. It was very difficult. So we worked hard to make this a good film for you guys to enjoy. When, when, when the videographer heard that just now, he died a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> He died just a little bit. So, uh, who else was in the show, and uh, and um, you were? What did you do in the movie? Um, I was the awkward mom. You were the awkward mom, <laughs> and what film doesn't need an awkward mom? Uh, yeah. So that's fantastic. Was that a uh, a hard role for you to play? Um, I'm gonna say yes, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I was typecast. <laughs> she was great. They were all great. Who found it? Who found it very difficult to watch themselves on film? You have not seen it. You, you guys didn't get to see it. Yeah, you have. I know. But you haven't shared it. She directs in the blind, folks. It's just, you know, random cut and poke, and we'll see what happens. Wow. You produced it. Thank you. And have you produced films? Yes. Just <laughs> one. One before, yeah. Well, that's, that's good. Good work. And what did you do in the film? I was comic relief. You were the, you were the, so you waited until someone asked you something and then you just had the perfect line, sort of like just now. Perfect. That's great. All right, The River, I'm so excited to see it at the 2018 Through the Lens Festival. Congratulations, Julie. All right, you guys, head on in. Enjoy. Thank you. Limo is arriving. You can feel the excitement in the air. Bum, 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 ba da bum. Oh, I gotta keep the mic down here more. I see the sound level. I must have been popping that thing left and right. Hey, can we get the sign behind us just clear? Because that's part of our set. Thanks so much. Welcome! How's it going? How you doing? Good to meet you. Hang right here. It's Karen's in there, right? Yes, she is. Cool. We She's going to unload. So far, we've only heard. See right here. We've only only had two people be heard coming out of the limo so far. So it's stay right here. Be up front. Yeah, you look great. There's Karen. How you doing, young lady? You guys gather around. This is great. We'll get the whole gang here and we'll... Are you sure it's empty? Check inside the bar. I know Karen's car. I just want to make sure... No. Totally joking. That could have been anyone. I, it's just timing. Hi, Karen. Hello. Hi. How, how you are doing? you? Good. You nervous? A little. Take a breath. Land here. All right. You got your whole cast and crew and yes, friends. and they're um, amazing. Yep. And you got people on the side. We are surrounded by support for you. Oh, thank Tell you. Tell us a little bit about Retrospect. I can't wait to see all the films. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Retrospect. Um, it's about a guy that makes the wrong choices, and he learns a lesson uh, through his little daughter right here, what? which is the most important thing in the world is your kids. Right? So it's about a guy who makes a mistake and learns a lesson. So it's yeah. about men. <laughs> We're very excited about this. No, <laughs> It's about men in general. No, Any challenges you uh, face making this particular movie? I know you've done this before. What, what was the big challenge of Retrospect? The big challenge was filming in a white space. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. Film, white space. Yeah, filming in a white space. And uh, what surprised you during the making of this movie? Did you have any uh, script or shooting surprises that just kind of grabbed you? Yeah, it's all a learning process. Every bit about filming I don't know it just 
you challenge yourself with new things, that's the best thing you can do. And yeah. then you just go from there. And you learn and you do a lot of research yeah. online. And yeah. That's wow. It's exciting. I'm going to ask one of the guys, what did you do in the film? Um, I was playing the daughter. The daughter. Nice. Are you somebody's daughter? Yes. Nice. That's perfect. So you had. Guy, that's the one that learns the lesson. I'm, I'm the man that learns the lesson. <laughs> oh, what's well, that again? One more time. I'm the man that learns the lesson. Wow. And are you carrying it through life so you won't make it in real life? No, this is just the movies. Just for the movies. <laughs> I just want to point out between he and I, there there is a perfect head of hair. It's just <laughs> right. <laughs> what's your name? Brandon Tripp. Brandon, congratulations. That's the, and were you in the movie as well? I was part of the crew. Part of the crew. What'd you do? Script supervisor. Wow. Karen does not mess around. Script supervisor. That's big time. Were you responsible for continuity and things like this? Continuity and, yeah, just getting yeah. things on track. Had you done that before? Yes. Was this one trouble? Oh, no, she's great. Okay. All right. All right, so this is the cast and crew. And uh, what did you guys do real quick? We were the angels. Yes. I was also. Angel. Wow, I know this lady. Yeah. Holy cow, but you have different color hair. Yeah. Nice to see you. Oh my gosh, this is such a great, oh my gosh. That, this is the face of the future. Keep an eye on this. I've seen her in a lot of things and playing an angel in this one. And um, what did you do in this movie? I was the production assistant. So her, right? And the and nurse. Woman. Oh, your production I was in it too. <laughs> and in there. That's fantastic. Did we get everyone in it? Were you in the movie too? What did you do? Um, I'm the ex wife. Slash Clover's mom. Is ex wife part of the accident he made? Part of the lesson he had to learn? <laughs> right. Probably. Probably. Because one usually leads to another if it's. <laughs> anyway, hey, congratulations. I look forward to everything Karen does. She's amazing. And uh, what a cast and crew. Nice to meet you guys. Retrospect. Yeah, we'll have fun. All right. Bye. Bye, everybody. The retrospect. That's going to be a keeper. Are you with Mr. Gordon? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Does the fire extinguisher in the front seat make you nervous? Hardly no. Hardly ever see that, yeah. <laughs> I think they now have them because of that one big limo fire. Oh, was Over there? The Golden Gate, I think it was years ago. Whoa. I saw that, noticed that, too. Hi there, welcome. How are you? Go right down this red carpet with the TV. Wow. Hang right here. Come on up to the carpet. We're going to do a Don't little interview. Don't be shy. He's the director. <laughs> You're Brendan. Yes, sir. How you Brendan. doing, Mary? Is that how you say it? Whatever. Brendan. Okay, okay, good, man. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. God, I didn't know everyone was here. Oh, my God, and you got this guy in here. This guy. Yeah. He decided to come. Yeah, well, good. All right, we up? All right, we are here with the cast and crew of Mr. Gordon, including, including Brendan Brooks. And what was your role in this? Well, I did a little bit of everything, like every director does, but we got it done. Were you acting in it as well? Uh, you might see a little bit of Johnny Golden there. <laughs> wow, that sounded so much like a hint. That's great. And I know this young lady. What are you doing, sweetie? Oh, my gosh. I was in a play with this girl. She's such a great actress. What were you doing in this one, Monroe? Um, I was a, like a sister. A sister. All right, I'm going to go back to Brendan. Let's hear, is there like a, uh, a sense or two you can tease us about what this film is about? I would say this film's about perspective and time management. Wow. Yes. Perspective and time management. All right. Not like a corporate training film. <laughs> you never know. Okay, good. And what did you guys do in the film? I was one of the... You were time management. No. I was, I was. No, I was at the table kind of questioning Mr. Gordon and what his priorities were in life. I was not was in the film, the Barry. <laughs> He's my husband. My love is my love. <laughs> oh, okay, good. All right, good. And 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 you were the daughter. We got that. And you, what did you do in the film? I was kind of like an angel spirit girl. Angel spirit, nice. And were you? Oh. Hey, how are you? Oh, thank you. I was. I smell winter. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah. What did you do in there? I played my grandfather. Or. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to give it away. No. And were you in there? Yes, I was. I was a wife. You were the, a wife. 
A Y. Wow, there is so much uh, hidden language in this whole description. I'm a little afraid. There's time travel. There's angels, and uh, there's a guy who just snuck along for the ride, who I know actually. So it, it's all a, a a big scene here. Uh, were there any special challenges that you came up against making this film that you uh, could let us in on? Uh, I think building the table, the illuminated table, was a challenge. But you'll have to see the table to right. understand it. You're, you're, you're teeing up a whole lot, but not hitting any of the balls. Yeah, it's great. This is good. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah, very good. And it, was this your first time in a movie? Yes. No. She was in one of my movies ten years ago when she was one. Oh, okay. But as, as a young adult, first time. Yeah. Did you like the experience? Yes. Was it hard to look at yourself on screen or easy? I haven't seen myself yet. <laughs> wow, you didn't show anyone? We don't know anything. We're just hoping it all, with Brennan's magic, it all works out. Because none of us have seen it and we're like, woohoo! Wow, that's fantastic. Wow, congratulations. Uh, and is this your first time in this festival? Uh, I did one three years ago called Today with Haley Pritchard. Okay. Wow. Well, yes, I love it. That's right. You were with Haley, and that was a great film. Oh, thank you. I remember that one. She was going off somewhere to sing. And, somewhere to sing. Yeah, that's great. We love Haley. All right. Okay, you guys. Well, this is the cast and crew of Mr. Gordon, a movie that has a whole lot of setups, and I'm sure all the punchlines will be delivered uh, during the film. What's the length? This is 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes on the dot. All right, you guys. Welcome the cast and crew of Mr. Gordon. Let's hear it. Yeah. Whoa. Woo! In the house. Come on in, guys. Thank you. Yeah, you bet, man. Have fun. Thanks, Mary. Yeah, man. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. All right. Have fun. And that's, oh, Azure. I know Azure. This is seven. This is seven. Yeah, and, and we're going to ten. We're going to four more. This including this. Hi. Let's wait till everyone comes out and we'll, uh, we'll go live. This is by far, and I, I don't say this every time, this is the best looking limo to get out so far. This is, oh yeah, you guys, uh, you guys put in the extra mileage on. Oh, there's, there's my man, the myth. Azure, come on up here. We're gonna start with you. Oh, fun. Come on up. Oh wait, hit it back. Come on in, you guys, pack in. All right, 2018 through the lens at the Del Oro Theater, and we are here with the cast, crew, director, and other hangers-ons of Remembering April. Azure Blue, how you doing? I'm wonderful, how are you? Good, you excited? I'm very excited. Do you have a sentence or two that'll give us a, a little bit of a, a hint about what's coming? Remembering April is about an institutionalized man who's in love with someone who he doesn't know whether or not she's real. Yeah. Wow, I was, I, to be honest, part of my brain is hooked at institutionalized man, because <laughs> I thought it was about me all of a sudden. But anyway, <laughs> it's, I don't want to talk about that right now. But anyway, how was uh, making the film? It was great. I did lots of phone calls to make sure everything was getting done, and it was quite the experience. And is this your first film? Uh, it is my first film. Dang. And just scan around, Ken. This is, I, and I, I haven't said this a lot, but this is a great looking group. Right, I mean, this is an amazing, what a crew. She wasn't even in California while her film was being made. Right. Yeah. That's pro. The film was shot in California, but you were elsewhere. It was shot in Berkeley, but I was in Berkeley School of Music doing some music stuff. Ah, so there's still a Berkeley connection, spelled differently. Okay, anyway. I directed, so I can. <laughs> well, hello. She's like, this is, this is a great director move. She goes, stop right here, I'm the director. And that was fantastic. What's your name? My name is Ray Isaac Blue. Um, I'm Azure's cousin. Wow, and you directed. Yes. Is, how many films have you directed? Counting this one. Uh, three. Wow, that's good. And what was a particular challenge you had directing this film? I had so much love for the script and the story and a lot of passion and right. all this creative stuff I wanted to put into it. and. As you're being as wonderful as she is, let me, you know, uh, create her story with the beautiful, intense vision that I had as well. Was he the institutionalized man? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm the institutionalizer. Oh, you're. 
That's way better. Toby's well, great. cool, Ray. That's great. Toby, man, I love this guy. He's amazing. And uh, what'd you do in the film? Uh, I, I, I pretty much, I don't know. I, just, I, I acted in it, of course. And uh, Azure, uh, one day in school, uh, we have the same drama class. Uh, we're putting on a production, School of Rock, in January, by the way. And uh, she came, she comes up to me one day. She comes up to me one day and she's, hey, she says, "Hey, I have uh, this script for uh, a movie I'm shooting, and I think you're a great actor, and I would, I would like you to be part of it." And you were the one who was institutionalized, though. So. I was, yes, I was very institutional. Nice, well done, and uh, thank you, Toby. Great job. And what did you do in the film? I'm the director of photography. Director of photography. <laughs> a lot of crew here. And how? what did you guys shoot on? What kind of uh, cameras? So we shot on the Canon C300 Mark II. Ah, the C300 from my, uh, and that, who makes that? Canon. Oh, that was the first word you said, Canon. That was the hint. Anyway, fantastic. And were you guys acting in the film? Um, I acted and I was part of the crew as well. Okay. Yeah. And I was April. So. You were April. You're who we're remembering. Yes, I'm April. I'm to be remembered. And how was the experience of being in this film? It was awesome. I'd never been on an actual, like, movie set. I'd only been in musicals and plays and stuff, so it was a very different kind of feel and vibe, but I loved it. It was really awesome, and they're all fun to work with. Was the director a little bossy? No, of course not. But she was perfect. Perfect. Paid That's it. <laughs> Paid to say that. Anything you guys would uh, like to say about this film? Hey, you know, as actually as a filmmaker, you've gotten to see it. You wrote it, and you got to see it. Is there anything that you wish you would have done a little bit differently, or something you're so glad you did? You know... I had never seen it until I saw the version that's actually going to be playing in there. And when I saw it, I was like, this is so much more than I thought it was ever going to be. So, no, there's nothing that I would change about it. Oh, my gosh. Fantastic. And, Nicholas, what, uh, you've been in films before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? I'm not supposed to say yes to that kind of film. No, not that. Kids put me in lots of films. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, yeah, why? What have you seen? Uh, <laughs> Felt like a Kavanaugh moment there. That yeah, was weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what I'm answering. Um, anyway, good experience. It was awesome experience. Nice. Yeah. Very it's good. Really great to see everybody um, releasing. So the writer releasing her story and the and the director releasing during the editing. A lot of everybody knew their part and took it and carried it to where they needed to. It was mm. beautiful. Love it. Hey, I'm excited to see this film. What a night this is going to be. Just. Just talking to all the people. Oh my gosh, the limo's coming. You guys, um, thank you, the cast and crew. Azure Blue, remembering April. We're going to see this one too tonight. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank you. Drop the loop. I need a, uh, one of those dog collars. You press the button and I just let go. Yeah. That'd be great. You have a little button on your belt. Oh, I didn't see what this one was. Which one is this? Uh, do you know? You don't know. I do not know. No that. problem, I got on with it. It's, I don't know uh, what they call it. Running with Balloons. Pally Ellis. Stay right here for a second. Just hang right here. We're going to talk to you guys. Are you Howie? I'm, I'm Janine. Janine. Okay, good. Oh, look how nice. Who's our filmmaker? Howie? Can you bring her up here? Running with balloons! Oh my Hello. gosh, it's you! I, gosh, I know. Oh my gosh, I didn't know it was you. This is so cool! <laughs> yes. Wow. So Hallie's here. She made a film, and we're gonna get everyone crunched in, and then we're gonna go. Uh, okay. Are you in the film too? Yes. Come on in. Come on in. Here we go. Are we okay here, Ken? So we're right here on camera now. All right. The 2018 Through the Lens Festival. We're here with the cast and crew of Running with Balloons. And Hallie, you are an amazing woman. Everything oh. you've done, and now you're a filmmaker. You. That just got thrown into my brain <laughs> as another one of your credits. How was it? It was such an amazing experience. Yeah. Yeah. You got a sentence or two about Running with Balloons you can uh, uh, tease us with? Sure. It's about a boy struggling with depression who finds hope by the end of the film. All that in 10 minutes, folks. It's <laughs> phenomenal. It's a, and she's going to bottle that and sell it. So we'll be, uh, and who is the boy who, uh, is this the, the man himself? Yes. What's your name? 
My name is Jason. Is this your first film? Yes, it is. Wow. This is what I love about this festival. So many people we've talked to, first time making it, directing, acting in. So this is really exciting. Oh, yeah. What was it like for you to act in a film? Oh, it was really hard, but, you know, I would totally do it again. It was probably the best experience of my life. You look like you have the bug. <laughs> I have the bug? Yeah, you look like you got the acting bug right now. You're just, <laughs> you're just like, I could get used to this whole photographer thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How old are you? 17. And what's your name? Jason Hawkins. We're going to hear about Jason Hawkins. Yeah. What surprised you about performing? What surprised me was how long it took to make every scene perfect. Right. right. And are the scenes perfect now? I hope they are. <laughs> I, I thought I'd look at Hallie while I asked this. Close to perfection. Close. Yeah. That's fantastic. Hey, congratulations. And what did you do in the film? Well, actually, I'm the old one in the film. I'm Betty. You are not the old one. I am. Is that true? Yes, wow. I am. I'm I the Zach elder. Down there. You, That's right. <laughs> All right. No. Is this, how many films have you been in? None. None? Yeah. This, wow, this does amazing so things to So this is today. my debut. Yeah. So, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> and somebody brought you flowers. I and what's your name? Daughter. Avery. What's your name? Avery. Avery? And did, were you in the film? Yes. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes. What role did you play? Do you remember your character's name? No. No. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to look forward to seeing this. You guys were all in the film? Everyone else? Let me, I know this guy. Olive? Okay, come here, Olive. I'm listening to him. Zach always knows. This is Olive. I'm a big family. Gosh, to think I almost went to Zach. I know. What a huge error that would have been. What did you do in the film? I was uh, one of the actresses. <laughs> I can't spoil the film for you. What was you your character name? Olive. Oh, uh, oh yeah. so I, your name's not I'm Olive. I'm not Olive. Gotcha, so no. we went to Olive the character. Yes who is a character in the film, everybody. Make sure you note that. Did you have fun? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. It was terrifying and just wonderful. But yeah, terrifying. What was a, a moment of the filming that you will never forget? Oh, um, probably it being like 103 degrees and we were trapped in this house for 16 hours a day with no air conditioning. And so we're all just sweating and exhausted and just you know, doing the best we could, but yeah, yeah it was wow. awesome. Welcome to Showbiz. Yeah, thank you. That's fantastic. It's uh, That's great. Well, cool. All right, Olive, Mer Betty? Betty, the oldest person in the film, she claims. I don't know about that. And Zach, how you doing, my man? What did you do in the film? Uh, I played Officer Zach in the film. Ah. Was there a lot of uh, preparation for the role? There was. It was yeah. intense. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen you act, man. You're good. I'm looking forward to that. What did you do in the film, sir? I actually wrote the score. You wrote the score? Uh -huh. Wow, what's your name? Uh, my name's Dorian. Had you done that before? Mm, on and off a little bit. Wow, what do you yeah. like? Do you watch it with no music and think, what does this need? Is yes, it? exactly. Wow, <laughs> I can't wait to see it for that. I've never known how that works. Yeah, it's, it's a, interesting. It's a big it's brain amazing. up here, because every second's a new decision. You you drive the emotion to some extent. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It changes a lot and you don't want um, to mess it up, yeah. you, what they're going for. Wow. All right, you guys, his names real quick before we even... Lydia Takioka. Lydia. Victoria Kincaid. Oh, I know Victoria. I've seen you. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. So, you guys have acted in films before? Um, no. No. No, I'm usually writing. Yeah. Instead. Wow. Have you no, acted before? No, no. I was doing hair and makeup, and I just got pulled into a scene last second. So. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hair and makeup comes in. All right. This is the cast and crew of Running With Balloons. <laughs> and Olive with the biggest party, the biggest posse. Yeah. Bye, you guys. Enjoy. See you tonight. Woof. Have fun, man. Bye, Victoria. See you guys. Killing it, Barry. I don't know, man. I got the voice in my head right now telling me it's not going well. <laughs> Shut that thing up. Angel right by the bedside. How you doing? Yeah, hang out here. Wow. Hang out here? Yeah, hang out here. Angel by the bedside, the cast and crew. Probably writers, directors, families, and friends. Wow. And, and wow, this is yours. I'm, an, I'm the angel. You're the angel. Yeah. All right. The, the writer's coming. Okay, here comes the writer. Wait, you're Cassidy? No. Cassidy. Good to meet you. I'm Barry. Wow, stand right here. We're going to do a little interview. 
And this is, was everyone here in the film? Yes. Or some parents? And we were in the film and they edited. Wow. Okay, the crew and the on screen and off screen. Where does that, you're, yep. you're there. All right, let's leave a line here because you guys are the talent. No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway, we are here. Let me get the name Angel by the Bedside before we go on. Cassie Kelly. We are here at the 2018 Through the Lens with Cassidy Kelly of the amazing movie Angel by the Bedside. And do you have a line or two? First, welcome and congratulations. My gosh, can you imagine the excitement running through this woman right now? Not about standing by me, but I mean of making the movie and having it. Bad joke went wrong. Anyway, any, tell us a little bit about the movie um, without giving it away. It's, it's sad. That's all I'm going to say. It's a sad movie. It is. It was yeah. designed to be sad, too. So. Well, that's good. My mm -hmm. gosh, if you were going for comedy, that yeah. would be a terrible <laughs> opening for us to have right now. Yeah. It's really sad. So let me get everybody's name and what you guys did in the movie. I am Jeffrey Williams, and I was an angel. Angel, by the bedside. I'm Selena Williams. I was a um, younger girl. You were the young. And is there just these two in the movie? I was in it too. And you were in it as yeah, well. I wow. Was the older girl. What are the challenges of did you direct? No. Okay, who directed? You did. Is it is it I hold on one second. It seems to me that there would be a an a special a special challenge of uh, directing an actor who wrote the script as well. True. Yeah. And because I'm her mom, I tried to make her happier, gave the writer a little more power right. than normal because there's a there's a balance there technically the writer's yeah. done when the, mm -hmm. it's all done but maybe she wasn't done yeah okay right wow that's fantastic and you guys were the editing crew and i was just a boom operator the what Audio. Boom, operator. boom operator i've done that in a movie no yeah, director of photography yeah photography? So. hi tom radock i did some music for the film music so from what I can tell, nobody edited this film, which is, oh, I'm sorry, you did. I did edit. I did edit the oh, film. <laughs> yep. That's a wrap. We shot, we edited. Yeah, Thank you. That's a wrap. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Directing and editing, you yep. have ultimate control. So. True. That's really good. <laughs> wow, how exciting. Right behind the director of photography. Yeah. Have you all done similar roles to this before, or was this a first? Uh, it was a first um, pulled together mostly last minute. Yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and scoring the music, did you write that? Uh, uh, yeah, I did. I did. <clears throat> uh, but I've done uh, producing. This is the first time I've done uh, music for a film, and I really enjoyed it. That's fantastic. Yeah. You're going to do more of that. That's fantastic. Good. And boom operating? No hernia? No, no, <laughs> no just building muscles. Building muscles, right. All that kettlebell lifting comes into play. And what did you guys shoot on? Uh, we shot on a Canon 80D. Canon what? 80D. It's a, it's a dumb name for a camera. Right. That's for people who don't want to spend it. It's just got on and off on it, I exactly, imagine. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, on the on and off model. ADD. That's fantastic. Had you made films before? No. This is my first. It's the first time I've written, too. Wow. And what, what uh, time did your film come in at? Um, I think it was eight minutes. Fantastic. And how old are you, Cassie? Are you a student? I just turned 18, wow. and I'm at Sierra College. That's fantastic. Congratulations. That's really cool. And have you guys acted in films before? No. <laughs> <laughs> All these good looks in his first time in a film. That's shocking. And have you acted before? Um, I've done plays, but I haven't done um, film. How does film differ from play? Um, well, there's more shots. I mean, there's, you won't mess up, I guess. There's less chance of you messing up right. on the film. And it's like a guarantee to look good almost, I guess. Right, with this director and editor, <laughs> yeah. and of course. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, I'm excited really to see this. Uh, the movies tonight are going to be great. A lot of high uh, competition, a lot of great films for us all. So, Angel by the Bedside, let's hear it. Cassidy Kelly and crew. Whoa. Hop on in, you guys. You don't have to hop. Wrong verb. Barry. Barry. Yeah. Thank you very Enjoy, much. you guys. Enjoy. Yes. I think. No, I don't think it is, actually. Oh, it is? All right. I haven't even been in. I think the people just got, got out. We got two okay. We had, I had like 18 scarves. I think the Michael Moore movie oh just God, ended. Oh, look at this. Stand here. How are you doing, sir? Welcome. Oh, babe. Damn, you look. Oh, soup. Oh, my gosh. Everybody. No, stay here. Stay here. 
Come on in. Stay here, everybody. Filmmaker, come on up here to the front. Let's move down a little bit so we get a little more light on everybody. And then we'll stay here. All right, the 2018 Through the Lens Festival, and we are here with the cast and crew, filmmakers, and everybody else from the movie Donnie, directed, written, and other things by this man. Your name, sir? Zed Friedman. Wow, nice to meet you. Quick, everybody's name? Laura. Uh, Wes. Griffith. Bailey Trent. Oliver Aperto. And we are, and we were going to talk to everybody here, but let's find out, uh, do you have that little teaser about the movie Donnie that won't give the whole film away? Um, it's about a boy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Boy, you can feel the anticipation building, can't you? It's Because I was just waiting for what came out after that. It's a... Anyway, that's fantastic. And you, sir, what did you do in the film? Uh, I was a... Um, uh, sorry, what's it called? Um, boy. I was a boy. <laughs> Could it be the boy? We'll find out. And what did you do in the film, Bailey? I was a girl. I played Mary, the love interest, yeah. The love interest, Mary, and? I was also a boy, uh, Donnie, in the film. Nice. So, we know that it's a film about a boy. Were there any particular challenges for you in making this film? Um, I would say Oliver was the main particular challenge. <laughs> was there a challenge for you in making the film? The film. All right. <laughs> and so, you did a lot of roles. Tell us about what you did to uh, bring this to life. Um, I wrote it, and Bailey helped me write this, and then I shot it and kind of directed it from behind the camera which was an interesting experience, but it was right. fun. So once again, a film with no editing. Uh, oh, and then I edited it. Oh, too. then he edited it too. After, I was getting to that part, but you pulled the mic I got you. It sounded like you were done. You're not done. And Laura, what did you do in this film? Everything. <laughs> Everything in the film. Laura is enjoying her time on the red carpet from Italy. And uh, so Weston, what was, uh, what was a highlight of the film for you uh, as far as the making of it or um, getting to see it? And not the pizza after the shoot. I mean, uh, the pizza is great, yeah. but um, it was really, it was just like kind of understanding the character and the kind of setting yeah. of it and really just like understanding the emotions. Yeah. I've gotten to see some of this and it's a real interesting piece where it starts in one time zone and goes back. And uh, Bailey, what did you uh, find interesting or challenging during the shooting of this? Um, I, I think it was pretty easy because I think we we're all having a lot of fun. I, I I got out. I got a, a lot more out of it than I expected to. Dang. And Oliver, besides, uh, you know, having to work with Zed, what was a? Uh, well, some of the interesting things were where this is like the only, this is the second acting thing I've ever done. Uh, the first one also being for Zed, both of which went very interestingly. Um, I do a lot of things that are semi-questionable in the movie. Yeah. So, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the second time you've been in a film with Zed and the second time that you've both fallen and your character has come to a, a, cha a life-changing situation. Oh, yeah, yeah, both times. Yeah, so there's, there's uh, something that'll go on here. Maybe it'll be a theme throughout both of your lives. That'll be fun. So uh, anything, uh, as far as the filmmaking, is there something you're either very proud of or something you wish you did in this film? Oh, that's a hard question. I'm just proud of these actors for like really pulling through and getting it done. I think we shot this in like, what, like four days or something? Yeah, it was, it was very quick and then, yeah. that was awesome. I wouldn't change a thing. All right. All right, the cast and crew of Donnie on the red carpet heading into the Del Oro. Thanks so much, you guys. Enjoy. Boom. Well, the limos have emptied out. All the filmmakers, cast, and crew are in the theater for the 2018 Through the Lens script to silver screen event here at the Delaware Theater in Grass Valley. We're going to head inside, check out the films, check out the winners, and applaud like wild. Enjoy. All right. <laughs> 